Out of all the different versions of the American Express Platinum Card, if you were to ask me, hey Mark, if you could only keep one forever, which one would it be? Well, the answer would be really simple. The Schwab version it is, and for a very good reason. And in this video, I'm going to explain exactly why, plus show you the exact steps to take to apply for it yourself. Hey everyone, it's Mark. I'm here to help you put more money in your pocket through credit cards and smart financial habits. If that sounds good to you, do me a quick favor and click on the like and subscribe button down below. Also check out the links down below in the description area to earn some more cash back when you shop online through Rakuten to get $25 when you open a SoFi checking and savings account and deposit just $10 or more, and to view my all new site with some great credit card offers that I've organized into different categories to help you find the cards that you like best. I'd also like to thank Masterworks for sponsoring today's video and we'll talk more about them in a few moments. Because first, we gotta talk about some Schwab stuff. First of all, if you decide to get the standard version or the regular Platinum card, or you get the Schwab version, they will have the same benefits either way. So it doesn't matter which one you go for, you might even wanna get both over time for two different welcome offers. Yes, you can do that because they are considered separate products. But in terms of all the travel benefits and the rewards multipliers like earning five points per dollar on flights and all the annual or monthly or semi-annual credits that you get, they are totally identical. The difference, however, comes on the Schwab side where you actually get two extra benefits and they are the invest with rewards feature and the Schwab appreciation bonus. So let's talk about those with a little bit more detail so you understand what you're getting. The invest with rewards feature is the main reason why people decide to get the Schwab version of the Platinum card in the first place because it allows you to reduce redeem Amex membership awards points as cash back into an eligible Schwab brokerage account at a rate of one point equals 1.1 cents. So for some examples, let's say you redeem 10,000 points via the invest with rewards feature, that would be worth $110. 25,000 points would be worth 275 and 50,000 points worth $550. However, if you don't have the Schwab Platinum card and you only have the regular version and you redeem for cash back as a statement credit, you only receive 0.6 cents per point. So 10K points would be worth $60, 25K points worth 150 and 50,000 points worth $300, so much, much less. That's why those of us who are fully or primarily on team cashback will choose this version every single time over the regular version. And also for some people who prefer travel as their plan A, if they wanna still have cashback as a plan B backup plan, if they're not traveling very much right now, it could still be worthwhile having the Schwab version for that. Then the second extra benefit is called the Schwab Appreciation Bonus, and here's what that's about. You can earn a $100 to $200 statement credit each year based on your qualifying Schwab holdings. I'll call that QSH for short. And that will be measured within five business days of card account approval, that is in your first year when you first get it, and then on the first calendar day of your annual card account renewal month each year. So if your anniversary is September 14th every year, then on September 1st, the first day of your renewal month, that's when they'll look at your balance and say, hey, do you qualify or do you not for this bonus? You'll be eligible for the $100 statement credit if your qualifying Schwab holdings are greater than or equal to $250,000 but less than 1 million. And then you can earn the $200 statement credit if your qualifying Schwab holdings are greater than or equal to $1 million. Okay, now with that context, let's talk specifically about the eligibility and how you can get the Schwab Platinum Card. So in order to apply for the Schwab Platinum Card, you must have these three bullet points checked. Number one, you must be 18 years of age or older. Number two, you must have a valid US home address, and this includes US territories and Puerto Rico. And finally, number three, you must have an eligible Schwab account. And those eligible Schwab accounts will include the following. We've got basically two different buckets here. The first one is the Schwab One or Schwab General Brokerage Account, and that's held in your name or in the name of a revocable living trust where you are the grantor and trustee. And then in bucket number two, you can also open a Schwab traditional IRA, Roth IRA, or rollover IRA that is not managed by an independent investment advisor pursuant to a direct contractual relationship between you and such independent advisor. So simplifying this a little bit and putting it in very general terms here, basically just have your own brokerage account that is totally free to open or your own investment account that you manage and any of those three IRA types are totally fine. So once you've decided on the account type that you want to open, it's a really, really simple. So here are the steps to apply. There are only two total. Number one is to simply open up that eligible Schwab account, which you can do
do again online or over the phone and then you want to apply for the card itself you can do that also online at schwab.com slash credit dash cards or just go to the home page and navigate through the menus or by phone with the number right there on your screen and really the only important thing to really focus on here is just do these two steps in that exact order you do not want to apply for the schwab platinum card first and then open your brokerage account or your investment account later on because that will not work they will not link up and you'll probably be denied for the card now since the number one reason to get the schwab version of the platinum card over the regular version is to redeem your points at a much higher rate for cash back there's a good chance many of you may want to invest that cash back into the market or other asset classes for those of you looking to diversify your portfolios one asset class that has traditionally only been accessible to the ultra wealthy is now available to the masses that asset class is contemporary blue chip art and the company making it all happen is masterworks masterworks is the only platform that allows you to invest in exclusive multi-million dollar paintings that have historically been reserved for the billionaires of the world they've even sold three paintings since 2017 each one returning over 30 percent net irr to investors of course past performance is not a guarantee of future success and all investments have a degree of risk so be sure to do your due diligence beforehand now why should you invest in art well a According to 50 years of auction records that Masterworks uses as part of their database, contemporary art prices have outperformed the S&P 500 total return by 164% for the past 26 years from 1995 to 2021. And with inflation over 8%, it's essential to consider alternative investments. Now here's how it all works. Masterworks purchases art with a strong potential for appreciation files it with the SEC as a public offering, and then members can buy and sell shares on the platform. Ultimately, Masterworks sells the art and distributes the returns to investors. Once you've created an account, you can click on the Offerings tab on the main menu to view the current paintings available for investment. You can view the investment overview, download the deal sheet, and learn more about the artwork. Next, you can go to the Price Database tab to discover which artists are gaining momentum in the market, and then head over to the secondary market page to create offers to buy or sell your shares at any time. So if you'd like to add contemporary art to your portfolio and join the Masterworks community of over 400,000 individuals, head over to masterworks.art slash Mark Reese to check it out. You'll also find the link down below in the description. And now back to Schwab. Now let me show you all how easy this really is. Pull up your web browser on your end. You can even follow along with me and just go to schwab.com. And right there on the home page, right here on the left-hand side, open an account or up here in the top right, you've also got open an account. Either one works, they take you to the same spot. So we'll just click on this one up here, open an account, and right away you have your options right here. So we've got brokerage, individual brokerage account, or a joint one if you wanna have somebody else on the account with you. Um, the one I opened for my Schwab Platinum card was right here, the individual brokerage account. Very straightforward process set aside seven eight nine minutes or whatever to go through all the prompts and you'll be good to go or if you want to do the retirement approach for the roth traditional or rollover iras all of those are right there as well for you as an example here we'll go to the individual brokerage account tap on that it will then tell you a little bit about your account here for example what can you actually do with it a couple of points here buy and sell stocks mutual funds etfs other investments or trade or invest for a long-term goal like your retirement college or other major purchases that may be in your future so uh, that's good to know also the cost of opening an account it is zero dollars for the monthly service fee and a zero dollar account minimum so you do not have to fund your account there's no deposit requirement of like 10 grand or whatever you can have zero dollars and still open the account and still get the schwab platinum card without a problem so keep that in mind um, and what do you need you want your social security number or a tax identification number, keep that handy, uh, your employer's name and your mailing address, if applicable, and your email address and phone number. So basically your personal info and a way to identify you as an individual. So uh, click on get started right down here. And then you'll be brought to the first step of the sequence right here. There's like a little timeline at the top, the personal info, regulatory requirements, some features, review your application, and then the agreements. So I'll tell you which step you're on of the five-step journey. Just tell um, them about you, your name, 
uh, your current home address, date of birth, SSN, email, phone, and go through these prompts right here. And as you get to the last prompt, your account will then be open. And then once your account's open, you'll be able to go right to your dashboard, which will look something like this. So of course, you probably won't have any line graphs if you have a new account that was just open because this shows you the fluctuation in your balances. So right over here, as my mouse goes over this part, you can see my individual brokerage account right here. It even tells you the type brokerage. Uh, any cash portions in there versus the balance in stocks or other assets. So when you redeem your Amex points into your brokerage account, it will then show up right here under the cash balance. So I'll show you that toward the end of the video here. But for right now, as long as you have your account open, you're then good to apply. We're now back on the Schwab homepage, just schwab.com. And across the top horizontal menu here, we have one called accounts and products. Go there, then over to the banking and borrowing section and scroll down a bit until you see credit cards and click there. That will bring you to this web page here, which shows you the two main cards. The first of which is the Schwab investor card with no annual fee. It's basically a 1.5% cashback card, but keep scrolling and then you'll see the American Express platinum card for Schwab with an apply now button. So click on that and you'll notice here that you have to log into your Schwab account first. That's why we made the account first to this therefore go ahead and apply. So all you would do is log in and then go through the application process. So I'll type in my ID and password and show you what the first page looks like. All right, I just logged in. I also had to verify my identity with a little security code that they tested to me. So you might wanna have your cell phone nearby. That way it's easy for you to do that. Um, and then it just says, you know, some terms here, continue to application. And there we go. It might populate a few of the form fields for you, like your name, uh, but then it shows you the offer. Right now it's currently 100,000 points after spending six K in six months. That offer may change if you watch this video in the future. But from here, it's just a standard American Express credit card application that you're used to from all of their other card products. So apply as usual. And if you get that approval for the Schwab Platinum card, you can add it to your online American Express account and manage it like any other Amex card. So here's mine that I pulled up. This is a screenshot right here. There's my Schwab card. And below the membership awards point balance, you can see the new feature unlocked as a little blue hyperlink, invest with rewards. So by clicking on that link, you'll then be brought to this page here, which tells you about the simple four-step redemption process. Redemptions start at 1,000 points and only the basic card member, that is the primary cardholder account, is eligible to redeem points. So once you're familiar with that, click on get started. You'll then be brought to the first of the next three steps. The first of which is to enter your info, that is to verify your card information, then click on next. Number two is to select your brokerage account or your eligible Schwab account and then redeem your points. So right here, the drop down, uh, you select your account that basically where you want the cashback from your points to go. And then from the little table here, you actually redeem in different quantities. So if you have, for example, in my case, 121,520 points, I could do one and like a quantity of one order of 100,000 points. I don't have enough for 50K or 25K. My next is 21,520 remaining. So I could do two orders of 10,000 and then one order of 1,000 points. So I could redeem a total of 121,000 and then I have 520 left over. Uh, since the minimum requirement is 1K, I've got to earn a few more before I can cash those out. So use that little table here with the drop down menus to place your order for redeeming your points. Uh, click that you do understand the disclosures and then next for a confirmation page to appear. And then when you check your brokerage account, under your individual or whatever account you have, the cash balance should go up by the amount. And once you're here, you can then either invest into the markets or if you wanna transfer out to your own checking account or a savings account, you can also do so. You'll notice that I also have a Schwab checking account. You don't need that to get the Schwab card, to open a Schwab account or whatever. So if you follow my mouse here up to the top menu, if you click on accounts, then underneath the transfers and payments section, you'll see external accounts. Click there and here you'll see your linked account. So if you may not have any yet, if you just open a new account. So I've got my Amex high yield savings. So again, a savings account and then Bank of America as a checking account. You can link all these external banks. And then once you convert your Amex membership rewards points from points to cash into your Schwab brokerage, then from Schwab, 
out to any external account that you wish. And with all that said, if you enjoyed today's video and believe it could benefit other people, then please help me get it in front of them by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and turning on notifications. Also check out the links down below in the description area to earn some more cash back when you shop online through Rakuten. To get $25 when you open a SoFi checking and savings account and deposit just $10 or more. And to view my all new site with some great credit card offers that I've organized into different categories to help you find the cards that you like best. And of course, for all my investors out there looking to diversify into other areas, the link to Masterworks is also down below in the description. I thank you all for watching today's video. I hope it brought you some great value. I look forward to seeing you in future videos and while you're waiting on my next upload, remember always that you are great.